Hey, it's Jeff Sauer here, and your votes have been tallied, and we are going to put together a video that shows you how to make an SEO dashboard in Google Data Studio. Yes, you heard it right. Your votes on our last post where we talked about our SEO dashboard in Google Analytics, they were overwhelming. Your comments were really saying you wanted to see this next video, and so that's what we're going to do. We are going to show you how to create an SEO dashboard inside of Google Data Studio. This isn't just one of those videos where I'm just going to show you where to click and how to do things on your own. We're going to try to take this above and beyond anything I've seen anybody do in Google Data Studio when using Google Analytics data and Google Search Console data. And in this case, we actually found a hero to help us get the answers that we're looking for. And so if you're wondering how that works or who the hero is that's going to save the day, you are going to want to watch this tutorial because we have some awesome resources for you about Google Data Studio and how to get the most out of it. Let's take a look at our Google Data Studio SEO dashboard. For those of you who haven't watched the previous video, I did create an SEO dashboard in Google Analytics and we made a video about it and you can watch it. So if you want to take a look at how to create an SEO dashboard natively into Google Analytics, make sure you read the post that's linked below. And if you haven't watched it yet, I would say watch that first because it's going to set the tone for what we're going to talk about in this video. But for those of you who have been following along, I didn't want to stop there. I didn't want to stop at just creating a dashboard in Google Analytics because I thought that there was a lot more we could do. I wanted to create something better than what Google Analytics had. So I asked you, do you want to see part two of that video where we make things a little bit better, where we take things even deeper? And you said yes. You left your comments and said, yes, I want to see part two of this. I want to see a SEO dashboard in Google Data Studio. And so that's what we're going to do. We're going to create an SEO dashboard using Google Data Studio. And we're going to put a new trick up our sleeves while we're doing it. And that is something called Keyword Hero. So what's Keyword Hero? Keyword Hero vows to give you your not provided keywords back. And so if you look at Jefflytics right now, 98% of the keywords that I see in my organic keywords report are not provided. Well, with Keyword Hero, after I installed it, it went down to just 2.6% of my Google keywords were not provided. It was pretty amazing. And it was the first time that I've seen real keyword data in this report, in the organic keywords report, in over five years. And the reason why this is important is because you can use this keyword data to build a killer SEO dashboard. Instead of relying only on the inconsistent data from Google Search Console, you can create a new dashboard and compare your data right inside of Google Data Studio. So you can do a side-by-side -side comparison between Search Console and Keyword Hero and see how things are working. And the best part is that it only took a few minutes to get Keyword Hero going. So here's how Keyword Hero works in a nutshell. You log into Keyword Hero and you choose the account that you want to track. Then you choose which Google Search Console property you want to connect. Finally, within your same Google Analytics account, you're going to create a mirrored property and it's going to mirror exactly what's in your main property. And then you can get your keyword data back automatically within 24 hours. Now this data is only something that happens proactively, so it only happens after you enable it, but you do get a good indicator as to how your keywords are performing pretty much right away. And as you can see here, I've been letting this run for about two or three weeks now, and we are doing much better with our keyword results. We're seeing how people are getting into the site, what people are searching for, and we have a lot more insights into how SEO is performing on the website. That's pretty cool, right? Well, do you want to know what's even cooler? Okay, I, I feel weird saying what's cooler. I feel like the guy from the Facebook movie where he's like, you know what's cooler than a million dollars? A billion dollars which doesn't even seem that cool anymore, seeing as how big Facebook is and how big their market cap is. But back then it was revolutionary to hear that number when Justin Timberlake tells you that you're going to be a billionaire and you're the actor playing Zuck. You just got to do it, man. You got to you got to get pretty excited about that. And when I tell you how to create an SEO dashboard with this data, you listen. So let's go do this. First, before we get into the tools, let me reintroduce to you Google Data Studio. It's a free and powerful tool from Google, and it can do lots of cool things. For example, you have a predefined Google Analytics template. You can just select this template, connect it to your own data, and you can be rolling in reports about sessions, revenue, all kinds of cool stuff within Google Analytics. They also have predefined SEO reports, and we filled this out in our first video. And overall, Google Data Studio can do a lot of cool things, like you can combine these two reports into one. 
In one corner, you have Google Analytics, the 800-pound gorilla. And in the other, you have Google Search Console, the elephant in the room. And when I say elephant in the room, I mean, when is Google Search Console just going to give us all of our data historically instead of doing it only 14 months, which they're doing now, or previously only 90 days? And when you combine these things, the 800-pound gorilla and the elephant in the room, you get an 800-pound gorilla fint. Now, you might be thinking to yourself, Jeff, how are you so good at Photoshop? How did this happen? Well, honestly, well, I got to level with you. And seriously, you need to do a Google image search for hybrid animals. Because I did that, and the 800-pound gorilla fin was the first thing that came up. And then I was like, oh, that would be cool if I could combine those two cliches. And then I just got stuck in this world of looking at hybrid animals for a long time. I mean, I, I honestly, like a panda head on a cow... A butterfly and an elephant. This is, I just can't believe how amazing this is and how creative people are. Like, you could honestly just do this forever. Maybe instead of watching the rest of this tutorial, you just look at awesome hybrid animals. Yes, that was awesome. And so is my hybrid report when I combine Search Console and Google Analytics. Check it out. Okay, sorry, I had to show you one more. I literally LOL'd when I saw this one because it is hilarious. It just, it looks like a, like a person but not really, and I don't know. I really like this one. Okay, sorry, that was the last one. But we can combine Search Console and Keyword Hero data, and we can put it side by side and see how things work. So let's play around and see what happens when we combine Google Data Studio and Google Analytics and see what type of report we can build. Okay, so the first thing I wanna show you is that now under acquisition, under campaigns and organic keywords, it's living proof that we have keywords coming in for the first time. We have the not provided. And as you can see here, I enabled us on February 22nd and data just keeps on coming in. Now it's not perfect. I'm not sure why it went low right here, but it is directional and directional data can be a good thing. So this is what Keyword Hero is doing for us. And as you can see, we have lots of items in here. The one complaint I have is that they made the setup so easy, but they didn't transfer goals. So we can't actually see conversion rate unless we add those manually. And every time I think to do it, it's always when I'm recording a video. And so I always choose to record the video instead of enabling my new goals. So hopefully if we ever do a follow-up video, I will have goals in place as well. But the reason why that's so important to have goals is because my biggest complaint to date is without keywords, and a conversion rate, you can't tell what keywords are the ones you should be building content for and whether or not your efforts are worthwhile. So you really want those all in one report. That's the main reason why we want our keyword data back. Just looking at keywords alone, it's like you can find that data through Google Search Console. This is what we have. The conversion rate by keyword is really what's important and that's why we want it in there. Anyways, with that long explanation out of the way, let's go into Google Data Studio and now we can see my report, the Google Organic Search Report with Search Console and Keyword Hero data. So this is the public view of the report. And then if we edit it, we can see in here how our definitions work. We can choose what filters we have and we can make all these changes. And here we are connected to the Search Console for Jeff Jeffalytics. You can see here, we are using the date dimension and we have impressions in there and that's how this is getting displayed. And Data Studio is pretty straightforward. It's based off the Google Analytics API. So if you've watched my video and tutorial on the Analytics API, it's very similar. You're selecting metrics and dimensions, and you're using things like sorting and date ranges to choose what displays. And you have a lot of control over what you do. The main difference between this and the API is the API just brings you tables of data, and this is giving you a visualization. And so what I've done to this point is just replaced the visualizations that are in there right now. And so the first visualization that comes in this report was actually the landing page report. And then the landing page report showed what the top landing pages were. I've replaced that with the query. And here's how I did that. So if we go into the data source, Google Search Console actually has two different data sources you can select. One is based on the URLs of your page. The other one's based on your query data. And so if we were to create a new data source or to take a look at that, we would be able to go into Search Console, we can choose the site we want to go after, and then we can choose a site impression or a URL impression. The site impression is where we get our metrics like query and all that information, and then URL impression is where we get our landing pages. And so I've already previously set these up. Remember, I make these videos like a cooking show, so I've already set this up. I have one for URLs, and then I have one for the site report overall. And so when we look in here, this is the site report, and that's the data source we are choosing from. And then within there, we have query. We could actually add other things in here if we wanted to. 
Google property, date, device category. Those are things we could take a look at. I don't think that those are nearly as revealing or as fun for a demo video as just showing you the straight up query that people are searching for. But just to give you an idea as to what could happen, you could choose the date that you're looking at and then see impressions by date. Not nearly as cool. You could do it by property, maybe that's more cool. Obviously this is only showing us the web though, so that doesn't really do what we need it to do. And there might be some filter in place that made that happen anyway. And so as we scroll through here, we can see the other options. We have the metric, we have impressions, clicks, click-through rate. You have the ability to choose how it's sorted, descending by impressions. This is a lot easier in a visual interface than how we had to write code when we did this in the API itself. You can choose how you want to have your date range in there. When you choose auto, it's going to actually have the range from up here. And then you can choose your filters where you want to filter out certain things that are showing up. Maybe if something's blank, you don't want it to show up. And so that's how it works with the Search Console data. As you can see, again, it's connected to Search Console. And then I connected it to Jefflytics Keyword Hero, which is here, which is Google Analytics, and I pull in data here. And so the dimension that I chose was Keyword. And if you go in here, you can take a look at the dimensions. You can even search for them. And you see here we have Keyword. And there's a bunch of different keyword options that are there. And I chose the Traffic Source Keyword. And this is basically going to be the organic search keyword. Or if you were to filter it based on only on paid search, it would show you your paid search data here as well. Either both or one or the other, depending on how you filter your report. Then we have our sessions. I thought that was an important thing to look at. And I put in bounce rate just to show you something. But basically any metric that is attached to the keyword data could be put in there. So if we actually had goal conversions, we could look at our goals and we could see goal conversion rate and see how that works. But of course, since conversions aren't set up, that doesn't do anything for us. So we're going to go ahead and just get rid of that from the report. And that's really how this works. Basically, we have all this cool data from Keyword Hero. We have an existing template that exists in Google Data Studio for Search Console. And we're just making changes to it to find things that are more useful. So think about it this way. What is useful for you from a data perspective? What are things that you want to see? What is important? What do you want to filter on? What do you want to bring to the surface? What do you want to look at? So for example, this one, Google Analytics login, is, is the majority of what's going on here, and then Jeff Analytics and not provided. What if we got rid of those? How do we filter those out so we can only look at our long tail keywords? And what you could do here is you do a filter. Now this is important to take a look at. The filter that I have right now is what I call a medium filter. So I say the medium has to be equal to organic. And that's how I only chose to show organic keywords as opposed to paid search keywords here. But we could also say it's equal to organic, and then we can say and the number of sessions. Let's see if this works. Counts of sessions, I think that should work, is, no, that's not going to do that's not going to do it. We could say sessions. And you want to choose the metric because obviously a metric is a number and you can choose greater than or equal to. So I'm going to choose sessions. Then I'm going to say is less than or equal to. And I think the number that we had there was a couple hundred. So I'm just going to say less than or equal to 100. And we'll just see what happens here. I don't, I'm not sure if it will do anything. OK, so we did. We, we lowered. We got rid of the top sources. Now we're just looking at Bing and so on. You could also do a filter where you say the keyword is not equal to not provided Bing if you don't want to show that. And now we're starting to get to more long tail keywords or keywords with just less volume. And as you go through this, you can just keep on adding stuff, filtering it down, trying to tell some kind of story as to what's happening with your data. And so there's no reason to be scared of Google Data Studio. Basically, you just want to connect the things that you have available to you. I'm choosing just to connect directly to Google's data. I wanted to create this SEO report because this is the type of report that's been missing for a long time. And frankly, this used to be my job as pulling reports like this. And I used to spend like 40 hours a week doing this. Like my entire job was pulling reports like this. And I just did it in like minutes. And I'm going to be able to share this with you. And you can put in your own data and play around with it. And you can build something very similar for your data. And you can explore the data based on what we're showing here. And so that's pretty cool, right? Make sure you read along with a companion post that's going with this, and we're going to show you how you can get this dashboard and install it yourself into Google Data Studio. And make sure you leave a comment on the video, because the more comments we get, the more in-depth we're going to go with these things, and maybe we'll start creating templates and sharing even more with you. If that's something that you want to see, be sure to let us know in the comments, because that's how we know that the content is hitting the mark. 
So there you go. This is how I built the organic search report. Nothing too fancy. It's using the existing Google setup that Google Data Studio provides you, and it does the trick. It does a lot of heavy lifting in a very short amount of time. And frankly, I'm impressed by how easy it was to get Keyword Hero in place and to install this into Google Data Studio. And I'm going to leave you with this. Do you want to see more tutorials? Then make sure you leave a comment saying, yes, I want to see more. But not only that, leave some suggestions with what you want to see. I like exploring. I like building. I like creating things. I like creating 800-pound gorilla fins. And I know that you like seeing these experiments as well. So let's work together, leave a comment with something that you want to see, and maybe in the future we'll be able to create that template for you and create a tutorial on how it's done. Mm -hmm.